today I got this package from K-Town for you in the mail. And there should be three albums in here. I am really excited to open this up and take a look at those. Inside the box we can see we have our three albums nicely bubble wrap as well as our poster too. And here are all three albums out of the bubble wrap. I say three albums, but really it's two different albums. I got two copies of one of them. Um, and they're all from K Bands. So the first one that we have is CM Blues, new mini album, Recode. This is their first mini album as a three piece. It's their first release since all of the members came back from military enlistment. I definitely had a bit of a CM Blue phase towards the end of their pre-hiatus career, so I was super excited to see them return. Uh, this mini album did come in two different versions. This is the limited version that I have here. They also put out a standard version, but as of right now, I only decided to pick up the limited because the standard version was a bit thicker, and I'm kind of running out of room on my shelves, so I'm trying to cut down on bulky albums for groups that aren't my olds, at least until I can get that situation sorted out. I may end up going back and picking up the standard version later though, I, or I may just stick with the limited, I don't know yet. But one of the other reasons I only got one version of CM Blue's album right now is because of the other album that I got with it, um, and that is One Wee's new single album, Memory Illusion. This is their first physical single album. And if you've seen any of my previous One Way unboxings, you probably know that in the past few months I have just absolutely fallen in love with this band to the point that they are now my number one ultimate group and I am attempting to collect all five members' photo cards. So when this got announced, I knew that getting this album and getting the photo cards for it was like my number one collecting priority right now. Hence why I only got one version of Sea and Blue for the moment. I did only get two copies in this initial order because I was anticipating a fan sign announcements and exclusive photo cards for those. And sure enough, there have been two different fan signs announced so far. And I did enter both of those in order to get the exclusive photo cards that come with it. I did not buy many copies for those fan signs though, so. I didn't get into either one, of course, I didn't expect to with the amount of albums I bought, but I will be doing photo card reveal hauls of those copies when those come in as well. So I'm going to take a look at the Sea and Blue album first. The design on the front cover is pretty cool. Um, the text says Re-Codename Blue, Re-Codename Blue, um, but the bolded parts just say Recode Sea and Blue. Codename Blue is what Sea and Blue actually officially stands for. So I think it's a really neat way to set that up on the cover. I also have the, it's the eighth mini album, and we have this little text here that looks like it might be lyrics from the title track. I have not actually looked at an English translation of the lyrics, so I'm not 100% sure, but that is what it looks like to me. And then on the spine, scene blue, eighth mini album, Recode. And then the back, it's pretty simple, it just says Recode, we have some copyright information, and then the track list, and there are five songs on this mini-album. We have the title track, Then, Now, and Forever, and then the b-sides, Till Then, End Time, Winter Again, and Blue Stars. And this is a very nice mini-album, it is a different vibe, I would say, than what they put out right before they left for the military. Before their hiatus, I felt like they were kind of getting into like a pop rock stride, sonically. Uh, with a lot of pop influences on the music that I really enjoyed. I thought it worked really well for them. This is going back to a bit more of, I would say, a classic K-pop band sound. The title track, in particular, is more of a rock ballad, I think is how I would describe it. Uh, it's very pretty, um, but I wasn't sure how to feel about it at first, just because it wasn't what I was expecting based on their pre hiatus music. But the more I've listened to it, the more I quite like it. And I am very happy to have them back in the industry. It's always good to have more bands on the scene. And this being the limited edition, it does come with slightly different inclusions than the normal one. I don't remember off the top of my head exactly what those were, aside from the photo cards. And 
I did skim through unboxings on YouTube before I picked this up in order to decide which version I wanted. And this one has like little interviews with the members, which I think is a really cool inclusion. Even if I can't personally read the interviews at this moment in time. So we start with our main vocalist, Chung Young Hwa. And if I remember correctly, I think the standard version had more black and white photos, which I'm not a huge fan of. I like that this one, it kind of uses the same technique, but they're blue shaded rather than black and white. And I think that's pretty cool, personally. Got some color photos as well. You definitely do get a good amount of photos per member, which is always nice. I've gotten too used to standing big groups that it doesn't feel correct when it stays on the same member for so long. But like in a three piece, of course every member is going to get a lot of pages. And I have some group photos. The three of them. And then we have Kang Minhyuk, our drummer. And Minhyuk is my bias in the group. He and Youngwa were in a drama back in the day called Heartstrings. Youngwa was the main character, Minhyuk was one of the side characters. But I really, really enjoyed his character in that drama. I mean, he's done a few more dramas since then where he's the lead, but I'm really bad at watching dramas. I started watching a couple of them and just never finished them just because my attention span is not great with that kind of thing but I would like to go back and give them another try someday they seem very interesting oh and we have our photo cards and goodies so let me put those to the side I still would love to see some kind of special Minhyuk stage of one of the end of year award shows because there's so many Minhyuks in K-pop. I mean, they did that special Jaehyun's stage one year. It could happen. These are really cute pictures. Then we have Lee Jung Shin, the bassist. I think the standard version had a different photo concept as well. And I do like this one a bit better, personally. We have our lyrics for Then, Now, and Forever, and something pretty interesting I thought about this song is that if you look at the lyrics and composition credits, it was partially composed by someone from RBW, which is really interesting because that is One Way's uh, company, and I would have never paid attention to that before because I didn't listen to any RBW groups until this year, until I got into One Way and One Us, but looking into this I found out that the same person actually helped write Sand Blue's first single I'm a Loner so there's like some history there which I think is super interesting and three of the members of Oneus actually posted a cover of them doing the Sand Blue song shortly after it came out which as someone who just got into Oneus in one way this year who really liked Sand Blue before their hiatus 
that was just so cool to me. It was just such a nice, like, full circle moment, I felt like. I definitely do personally recommend checking out both the Sea and Blue original and the One Us cover if you get a chance. They're both very good in different ways. I have the lyrics to our B-sides. Till then, in time. Winter again and blue stars. And then some more credits in the actual CD. Which looks like that. Now let's take a look at our bonuses. I can already see who I got from one of the photo cards, and that is super exciting. We'll look at those a little bit closer in a minute. So, <laughs> this is actually, I'm looking at these inclusions now, remembering what comes with the one-way album. This is super interesting, because it comes with a little bookmark. And the one-way album actually does as well. It also has a bookmark as an inclusion, which is super interesting that these completely separate albums ended up with similar inclusions but this is actually really cool it's smaller than I thought it would be but it's got like this kind of dust jacket material um with like a handwritten message and I got junctions and then it's got this photo behind it that's really cool that's really pretty and then we also have this postcard which I think might be the same for all albums but I could be wrong about that don't quote me on it And then the photo cards, and you do get two with the album, and they are different from the ones that come with the standard version. And I got Minhyuk and Jungshin, which is very nice. And Minhyuk is super cute. I love, I don't know what it is when idols write smiley faces or cute little cartoon drawings like that. It just does something to my heart. It's just cute. I like cute stuff like that. Yeah, these are both very cute photo cards, and I'm very happy with these pulls. Um, if anyone does happen to have Minhyuk's other photo card and would like to trade for Junction, um, let me know, and we can possibly work something out. But... They are not a huge priority for me in terms of photo card collecting, so I would also be content to keep both of these. And now let's take a look at the album that I am super excited to open. One Wee's first single album, Memory Illusion. I was so surprised when they announced this comeback because I really was not expecting them to come back until January at the earliest. They had hinted they were working on an album, so I was expecting a comeback soon. I just didn't think it would be this soon. And, of course, there were some pros and cons to them releasing an album mid-December. They only got to do a week of music show promos because they basically got on the last week before music shows kind of shut down for the year. But that honestly might be a blessing in disguise, given some of the headlines that are coming out of Korea right now about the entertainment industry. It is scary times, we'll just leave it at that, so I'm kind of glad that they can uh, go home and rest now and not be around people. And this was my first proper comeback with One Way after I became a fan during their In the Spring promotions. Uh, I was around for the release of Parting and the demo album, but that wasn't a fully promoted comeback. So I was super excited for this release, and they definitely did not disappoint. They honestly even managed to exceed my expectations, which were pretty high, so that is quite a feat. This is the cover art, and it is very pretty. The digital cover art is completely different, and that is also very gorgeous. Just the aesthetics for one of these albums are so good. And we have the title of the album in gold, like, foil. It's so gorgeous. And this is Memory Illusion. And one way first single album. And then on the side, we have the name of the title track, which is A Book in Memory. And on the other side, it says Shine You Heart. Which I'm not actually too sure what that means. Uh, when the cover image first came out, people were speculating that might be the name of the B-side. It's not. I don't really know what that is there for. But this is another larger album. I don't 
think it's quite as big as their first full album one. I haven't directly compared them yet, though, but it is definitely a lot bigger than the demo album, which was a much more uh, normal CD size, I would say. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that spine, but that is what it looks like. Um, and I actually don't mind this one being bigger because it is the more standard soft cover book style packaging. What made one kind of a problem is that it was basically this large hollow shell with stuff inside it, which made it very easy to get damaged because of how big it was and how thin it was. Uh, this being the more standard photo book packaging, I think it'll be a lot sturdier. Yeah, and I just, I love the the foil detailing. That's just so pretty to me. We have a track listing on the back. There are four songs, including an instrumental version of the title track. And all of the songs are so good. I personally am a bit more partial to the B-sides, simply because the title track is a ballad. And I tend not to gravitate towards ballads as much, but it is a very pretty ballad, and... I've seen a lot of positive comments about it, so if you like ballads, there's a really good chance you will like A Book in Memory. It is very beautiful. But as I said, there are four songs. We have Trauma, Aquarium, the title track, A Book in Memory, uh, Racer, and then the instrumental for A Book in Memory. Trauma, Aquarium is my personal favorite, but again, highly recommend all three songs. And they're all super different. So, like, if you've heard one and it's not really your style, highly recommend checking out the other two anyway because they're all super different. I feel like there's got to be at least one song for everybody on this album just because they are such different vibes. And they're all so good. We love an album that's so large I have to raise my tripod to see the whole thing. But inside, we just have a blank first page. Well, not blank, but, you know, there's no picture on it. I'm so excited to look through this. All the concept photos and the music video were so gorgeous. You do get two photo cards in this album, like you do with most RBW albums, I am learning. Um, and I do collect all five members because I do really old this group and bias all the members to some degree. But Tom Young is my ultimate bias, so I am hoping to get his cards first. But of course, I'll be happy whoever I pull. I love them all. Big albums, honestly, they can be inconvenient in terms of storage, but like the benefit of big albums is you have this really gorgeous, large size photo book that is just so pretty. And one thing I am learning as I start to collect RBW albums is you kind of get exactly what you see with them. Like, what you see in the teaser photos is what you see in the music video, is what you see in the album photo book. So if you like stuff like that to be a complete surprise, the photo books are probably not going to impress you. But as someone who doesn't like when there's, like, a really cool music video aesthetic that's not in the photo book, for example, I don't mind that. Um... And like I said, all of the teaser photos were super gorgeous, so I'm so excited to see more cuts from those photo shoots. We have our lyrics for Trauma Aquarium, which, as I said, is my personal favorite track. It was primarily composed by Tia, who is the bassist and rapper of the band. And I really, really like his production style. He has a lot of solo SoundCloud tracks that I really enjoy. So I was happy to see him take another lead composing credit here. We have lyrics for a book in memory, which was primarily composed by the main vocalist, Youngwoon. That's really cool how that one's like horizontal. And that was one of the teaser photos for Dong Young and Harin, so that's nice. Again, I know people have differing opinions on whether they like teaser photos to be used in the albums or not. 
I do. I personally like only getting like a couple teaser photos and then them actually being in the album. But of course, with enough additional shots that we haven't seen to make up for that, that way there's still something new. Yeah, the, whatever location they filmed this at was so gorgeous. So all of these shots are so pretty. We have our other unit, which is Kia, Youngmoon, and Hankyun. He's so pretty. Like, he's literally, literally just standing there, and it's like the most gorgeous human being ever. Imagine being that cool. Yeah, that was also one of the teaser photos. But, like, there's a huge difference between seeing it as, like, a tiny picture on a phone screen versus full close-up in the album. That's so pretty. Next up, we have some Kanghyun solo shots. We have Kia, who has like a legit mullet going on right now, and I have mixed opinions on mullets, but he absolutely pulls it off. I cannot deny that. Now, Hart also only gets two photos. Interesting. Oh. Never mind, we get more solo shots. And. Here's the first photo card. I imagine the second one will be later. Um, but I got Kia for this one. Oh, that one is so cute. I love all their signatures. Their signatures are adorable. We have Young Moon. Which, his styling for this album is just so good glasses, with the chain, with the long coat, with the choker, just everything about it is beautiful. I really, really love his styling here. Um, then we have our lyrics for Eraser, and the second concept, which is a lot more casual. This one actually kind of reminds me of the concept from the CN Blue album a little bit with like the softer, warmer tone outfits. We have different units for this photo shoot. We have Kang Hyun and Hyungun, leader line, and then Haran, Dong Young, and Kia. This was one of the teaser photos, and I really love this teaser photo. It just has like family photo vibes, and I love that. So pretty. Like, I've literally seen some of these pictures before, and yet seeing them, like, in person in the, like, giant photo book format really feels like seeing them for the first time. This is a gorgeous photo book. Okay. Here we have our bookmark for the album. And there are five of these. These are random member. Uh, I don't know who's is who's from the front. They are different on the front. I just don't remember whose is which. I don't know if you can read that. You can't. But I got Young Moons. And they have these handwritten messages on them. And I love handwritten stuff. I'm a sucker for it. So that's really neat. I am hoping to pull all five of these, but it won't be a huge deal if I don't. I probably won't trade those due to the larger size. So pretty. Oh, this is cool. Oh, I, did, I didn't know there were gonna be pages like this in here. Oh, that is so cool. It's like collage style. They're all like blurry, but like in such an artsy way. Oh, bitch, this is so cool. Honestly, one of the few times I'm kind of grateful we used for a small fandom is like I didn't see almost any photo book spoilers on the timeline. So that got to be a genuine surprise. 
Mr. Kanyan with his blue hair, which is almost always one of my favorite hair colors on idols because it's my favorite color. The hair is just extra cool, that's all. These pictures are so cool. What the fuck? I'm like so genuinely impressed by that. I really wasn't expecting those shots. Nokia in his leopard print beret, which is just precious. That's so cool. Uh, new drinking game. Take a drink of water every time I say something in this photo book is cool. I'm just super impressed. Because, like, I'm really not too picky when it comes to photo books. You give me some nice pictures and a decent amount per member and I will be happy. But... You go throw in like some extra aesthetic stuff there and that just makes it even more exciting. Okay, so here's the second photo card. And this one does not have a signature on the back, so I don't know whose this is yet. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, they got Yogun's for this one. That's so cute. Look at the little, I'm assuming that's supposed to be like a four leaf clover on the back. That's precious. I love how everyone else's uh, photos for the second concept are like soft library boys. And then we have Horan just like brooding in the castle set. Love that for him. are so cool. <laughs> I know I keep saying it, but they just are. Yo Youngun. Which I'm realizing here, they like changed the coloring of his pants. Because he wore this for a music show, I think it was. And the back of these pants is actually like blue denim. But... <laughs> They changed it in the photo book, so it looks brown. Okay, art directors, working your Photoshop magic. Because I was going to point out how the pants look cool from the front, but the back of them were questionable, but they changed them so they're not. But that makes me wonder how commonly that actually happens, and we don't know. Interesting. Oh, that was a really gorgeous photo book. And then we have some more credits. And then the CD itself, which again is so cool. Because it is a single album, so it only has three songs on it, so it doesn't really need that much CD space. So, like, half of it is transparent. Which is gorgeous. It's so pretty. Like, most CDs nowadays are, like, kind of an afterthought. Like, it doesn't really matter what they look like because you're not going to do anything with them. But this is so gorgeous. Like, I would put this on display by itself. It's so pretty. All right. So now let's just see what photo cards and bookmark I got in the second copy. I don't even know where to flip through. Okay, so there's the bookmark. <gasps> I thought it might be the same one for a second because the colors are similar, but it's not. Hot Dom Young's! Which is awesome. That is the one I was most hoping to pull, gonna be honest with you, being biased. Oh, whose hand is that? Is that his hand? This is giving me flashbacks to the hand postcards that came with the one a single album. What is with RBW and hand picks? Let's see, where are the photo cards? Oh, oh, that's awesome! So I got the other Kia photo card in this album. So I've already pulled a full Kia set, 
which is super cool because from what I've seen, Kia is like a really hard member to like find trades and sales for because everybody loves Kia, understandably. He is Kia. Uh, but that is super cool that I went and got both of his photo cards right from the first set of albums. Super, super adorable. And let's see, let's see, who did I get for my other card? Oh, wow! Oh, I got the other young one card! That is so fun! That is so fun. I pulled complete Kia and Young sets today. That one is so pretty, too. Oh, wow. That is so cool. That, like, rarely happens that you get, like, full sets and no duplicates either. Yeah, I've got, yeah, I've got the, the full Young Moon set now because I got his bookmark, too. And, hey, I did get a Young Moon bookmark, so I got something. That's exciting. That was a really nice first pull for these albums. I am super excited to get the rest of my copies now, which won't be for quite some time because I have to wait for all the fan sign stuff to finish up so they can send my albums out. But, yeah, I've bought, like, five more copies so far. And there might be more to come if they do more fan signings. So definitely be on the lookout for those photo card hauls when those come in. But that is it for today's K-pop haul. I hope you enjoyed. If you would like to see more unboxings or K-pop hauls like this one, you can check out the other videos on my channel. And if you like what you see, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.